One of our geography terms is continental divide. Many students don't understand this concept, so my goal in this video is for you to be able to successfully answer this guiding question. What is the continental divide? A continental divide is a natural boundary, often a mountain range, that separates a continent's river systems. Each river system flows into a certain basin, bay, or sea. The map on the left shows the Chesapeake Bay watershed. All of the rivers and creeks highlighted in this area flow into the Chesapeake Bay and eventually the Atlantic Ocean. This map shows all the rivers and creeks that flow into the Mississippi River and eventually the Gulf of Mexico. All the rainwater that falls on one side of the divide will flow into one basin and the precipitation that falls on the other side will flow to another basin. For instance, in North America, the Rocky Mountains form the natural boundary or divide that separates the river systems. If rainwater falls west of the divide, the rivers eventually find their way to the Pacific Ocean. However, if rain falls east of the Rocky Mountains, it will flow into streams and rivers that flow into the Atlantic Ocean. While hiking and climbing in the Rocky Mountains, you will fi find signs that mark the Continental Divide. This is not the only Continental Divide, though. Continental Divides are found on every continent. In South America, the Andes Mountains form the Continental Divide that separates the river systems. Since the Andes Mountains are located so close to the Pacific Ocean, the water that falls on the west side of this continent do not have very far to go. Both continental divides in North America and South America run together to form what we call the Great Divide. This divide runs from Alaska through the Rocky Mountains of Western Canada and the continental United States, then through the Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains in Mexico through Central America and along the Andes Mountains of South America. Another continental divide exists between Europe and Asia, with the Ural Mountains forming the natural boundary. When rainwater falls west of the Ural Mountains, the water flows to the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. But if the water flows east of the Ural Mountains, the Himalaya Mountains also form a continental divide in southern Asia, separating river systems between the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian Ocean. So to recap, a continental divide is any natural, not man-made, boundary, normally a mountain range, separating rainwater that falls in creeks and rivers that flow into two oceans. In other words, this is like a barrier that stops rivers on one side from flowing into oceans and seas on the other side. It follows the principle of the drainage basin, but on a more significant and larger scale. So how do I know that you watched this video? Great question. I'm going to check. Here's the proof that you watched the whole thing. Open up your notebook, title the next blank page Continental Divide, and number one through three. Write true or false depending on what you think from the video. Number one, a continental divide is a natural boundary, often a mountain range, that separates a continent's river systems. I hope you said true. Number two, there is only one continental divide in the world and that is the one that runs through North America. I hope you said false. Number three, since the Andes Mountains are located so close to the Pacific Ocean, the water that falls on the west side of this continent does not have very far to go. If you said true, you are correct.